Alrighty, we'll start out by doing the white cross and it's reasonably straightforward. It's just the, the challenge now is to think about the best way of actually doing the finger tricks for this cross. So I would probably do something like this. So D prime B, R prime D2, R prime. And noticing that none of those moves will affect these two F2L pieces in this front left position. So I can go and do them as soon as I finish my cross. So I can go D prime with my left uh, ring finger like that, B with my right index, then I can do R prime, D2, R prime, just like that. And then I'll go straight away and solve this pair like that. Um, we've got a couple of different options. I suppose one way of uh, tackling this next F2L pair, we've got a few different options. We can go for these two, but if we go for these two, then we're going to still leave this F2L pair in this slot like that, which isn't, isn't really particularly nice. Um, what I can do is actually take this edge, we'll take both of these pieces out of this slot and that, and then I'll rotate in this direction and that will actually give all of my F2L pairs, make all of my F2L edges oriented. So if I go like this, L prime U L, and then rotate in this direction, solve this F2L pair. Now I've got these two F2L edges oriented on my right hand side as well. So my whole left hand side is solved and I've got two oriented edges on my right hand side. So I can go easily, well, I can easily solve these last two F2L pairs just using R and U moves. So I'll do these two and then this one, then OLL, and then J permutation for PLL. Okay, second so solve with white cross, and I've got this cross edge oriented in my cross layer, and also this one, which belongs right here. So if I do something like L prime, then I guess a standard way of inserting these last two would be to do something like D prime, F2, D2, R2. Um, and an alternative way of solving that, it may or may not be uh, quicker for you, is to only use U, R, and D moves. So to do something like U prime, R prime, U, R prime, D, R prime. So I'm not sure whether that would have necessarily been quicker to execute. I think it might have been slightly quicker to execute that solution, but it also depends on kind of how, how good you are at finger tricking the R2 and the F2 and D2 moves um, from the previous solution. So we've got this F2L pair that I'll do first into that slot. Then I've got these two and I'm going to work it so that um, I end up with these two blocks at the back, uh, this solved F2L block at the back. So instead of solving this pair here and ending ending up with two solved slots in the front, I can go something like rotate and insert them there. And then I've got these two. And instead of doing a U, R, U prime, R prime, because that gives me a really bad case, I can go U2, R, U2, R prime. And then my last F2L pair will be paired up. Then I've got OLL and then PLL. Okay, um, having a look at this scramble, the first thing that I see is this blue, well, these, this blue block, but more particularly these two cross pieces. And these two here are in a pretty good position as well. And I've got this blue F2L pair at the back here. So what I want to do is actually solve this cross so that it doesn't affect these two pieces and also put myself in a position where I don't have to rotate in order to solve these two, um, this, this first F2L pair. So I can do something like F prime, R prime, F2. And even though that's a little bit annoying in terms of the, in terms of the finger tricks that we need to use, um, it'll be, it'll pay off because then I won't need to rotate to insert this pair. So I can go F prime, R prime, F2, D, and then insert this one there. Um, after that, um, we don't really have many options. So I can go for these two into this slot. Then I'll go for these two. Then these two. OLL and R permutation for PLL. All 
All right, there's a few different options to choose from uh, in this scramble. I suppose one thing that I, well, I see the blue cross immediately, but it's not very, not going to be that figure trick friendly. Uh, but we do have this blue F2L pair at the back here. So what I can do is do something like U prime, R prime, D2, R D prime, R prime, D prime. And then this pair will be ready for me to insert in the back left there. Then I can go straight away and solve this pair into the front left, like that. Then these two into the front right. And then this one and this one. Now, in this situation, I can either do an F R prime F prime R and give myself this OLL case, or I can rotate an insert like that to give myself a six move T. And I think, uh, I think I'd probably prefer to get a six move T uh, personally because I don't know too many ZBLLs for the bow tie OLL case. So then I can just do my easy OLL and then PLL. Okay, last solve in this video. Um, let's have a look around what we've got. We've got blue, which looks pretty easy actually. We've got one, two, three, four moves cross. So let's have a look and see if we can try and figure out either our first pair or an extended cross. So what I do notice is I've got these two. Um, so if I can do something like R prime U2, R prime U2, that sets up these two as well as this block. Then all I need to do to finish the extended cross is to do D, L, F like that. Then I can go in and solve my first F2L pair. I've got this corner and this edge here. What I would probably prefer to do is rotate like this and insert them into the back left there. Then I can solve these two. And then I'll go for this last F2L pair and do a VLS algorithm and then my PLL. Now I'm not gonna rotate, am I? I'm gonna do a U2. That would be a beginner mistake if I rotated before my PLL and then we're done.